Okay, grab bag number eight. Here we go. I've got a cylinder joined by two hemispheres. So hopefully we can kind of picture this. I've got my cylinder, and then I've got two hemispheres on top. Eek, you guys know how good I am at drawing. So now, it's a very odd shape, but hopefully we can kind of picture it. Um, some said it might look like a, like a, like a Tylenol, like a pill, something like that, if you can picture that idea. What we're talking about is a cylinder, and it, since it has two hemispheres on top, put them together, and we've got a full sphere. So those are the shapes we're dealing with. Now the volume is 12 cubic inches, and I'm trying to find the radius that produces a minimum surface area. So I'm trying to find the radius, and I want the surface area to be a minimum. So that's my goal. So if I'm trying to minimize surface area, I need a formula for surface area. If you recall, the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. However, that's for a full cylinder with a top and a bottom. I only want the part around the cylinder, so I just want the 2 pi r h, okay? Plus, the surface area of a sphere, if you recall, 4 pi r squared. Now, I'm trying to find the radius, so I want to keep the radius in my formula. I need to get rid of the height because that variable is kind of throwing this off. So, I have to use volume. Again, there's a reason they're giving me the volume of the shape. So what I'm going to do, let's come up with a formula for the volume of the shape. Volume of a cylinder, pi r squared h, plus volume of a sphere, 4 thirds pi r cubed. So now I'm going to sub in my 12. And at this point, I'm going to solve for h so that I can then substitute in. I'll have a full formula for surface area all in terms of the radius. So 12 minus 4 thirds pi r cubed divided by pi r squared is equal to h. So that's what's going to come back up into my formula. Surface area is equal to 2 pi r times h. 12 minus 4 thirds pi r cubed over pi r squared plus 4 pi r squared. I'm going to do a whole lot of simplifying before I try to take any derivative here. So looking at this, if I look, I can cancel out pi's and I can cancel the radius with one of those. So I'm left with just radius in my denominator. So surface area is equal to, distribute the 2, 24 minus, distribute, 8 thirds pi r cubed all over r plus 4 pi r squared. What I want to do now, split my fraction. Surface area is equal to 24 over r minus, when I split my fraction here, the radius I can reduce there, 8 thirds pi r squared plus 4 pi r squared. This is looking better. Now, if you look, you'll notice we've got some like terms. Pi r squared and a pi r squared. I can add negative 8 thirds plus 4. Let's combine those, and I'll get surface area is equal to. Now, don't forget where we're headed. We will take a derivative eventually. So let's rewrite that. 24 r to the negative 1, combining like terms, plus... 4 thirds pi r squared, okay? That is a much simpler formula. Now I want to minimize surface area, so I want the derivative to be 0 or dme and sign chain. Here we go. Surface area prime is negative 24 r to the negative 2 plus 8 thirds pi r. I want to know when does my derivative equal 0 or dne. This will equal D and E when that radius drops down to your denominator, so when the radius is zero. Does it make sense that the radius would be zero? No, so we don't have to worry, we're good there. So now, if I have this equation set equal to zero, what I can do is I can add this over. So I've got eight pi r over three, I'm just combining that, equal to 24 over r squared, okay? Now I can 
cross multiply and solve. 72 is equal to 8 pi r cubed divide by 8 pi, and you get 9 over pi, okay, because 72 divided by 8 is 9, and then we're dividing by pi, equal to r cubed, therefore r is equal to the cubed root of 9 divided by pi. Throw that on your calculator, if you remember those, 1.420. So now, it's a lot of work there. I think if the radius is equal to this, that will minimize the surface area. Let's verify. Um, let's see, if I look at my first derivative, eh, second derivative looks pretty easy, let's try that. The second derivative would be, when I take this derivative, 48r to the negative three, which means over r cubed, plus, 8 thirds pi. If I sub in 1.420 to the second derivative, I have 48 divided by a positive number, because that cube is going to be positive. So I have a positive number plus another number, so everything is positive, therefore concave up, therefore I have a minimum, which is exactly what I want. Now think about what did the question ask you to find? Question wanted you to find the radius. We did that, we don't need to sub in, we don't need to find anything else, and you are done.